For most school students, choosing which A-levels to take is hard enough, let alone deciding on a degree course and a future career. That's where maths at work days can make all the difference. We have come to the University of Salford, where groups of A-level students from a number of local schools have been invited. In an action-packed day, they will find out how studying maths can lead to a wide range of interesting and exciting careers. They will meet some potential employers, for whom maths is a day-to-day -day part of the job. And they will have a go at some real-life maths problems for themselves. It's also a chance for them to experience firsthand what studying at university is really like. Today's event is called Maths at Work and it came about from a project uh, many years ago which is called More Maths Grads and what we found was uh, it was good to get employers working with young people to see the application of maths. Uh, a question we'd often get asked at secondary school was well, why am I studying this? What's the point of trigonometry? And often you get a teacher saying, it's on the exam, you've got to study it and that's why. And sometimes that's not a good enough answer. And so it was great to see employers coming in and say, uh, I work at ASDA and this is how I use my maths. I work at Land Rover and this is how I use my maths. You'll find your maths can be used anywhere in any career. It's one of those versatile subjects. Can anyone here tell me uh, what they think is the average age of an engineer working in the West Midlands? Shout, shout out a number, what you think. 36. 30? 26. 26? The average age in the Midlands at the moment is 48, and it's rising. And that's similar for other careers in STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, mathematics. So what the, the nation needs at the moment is people studying maths and science so it's a great choice what you've done and there's great career opportunities for people who study maths at a level and at degree where does one start in talking about the benefits potentially for the for the attenders today education has just become a great deal more expensive the idea that uh, university education is still a wise step at 18 is possibly under attack uh, people are wondering a bit and I think any em information that youngsters can get about the value of a degree, a degree in a particular subject and to a degree at least at a particular institution, they're all absolutely vital factors of information that, that the youngsters should have because it is getting a bigger and bigger decision as to whether or not to go on to university at all. The keynote speaker for the morning is Salford Mathematics Professor Dave Percy. I have been fortunate enough not only to work on theory but also to do a lot of application areas with mathematics and almost any subject you could think of I, I, I've done work on and it's been really enjoyable and uh, I love it. There's so many different areas you can look at. This one for instance, for about 10 years, 15 years I've been in charge of testing the randomness of the UK national lottery draws which is a thrilling a thrilling opportunity. You don't get that unless you've done mathematics. And it's a, it's a brilliant thing to do. What else have I got? This, this is just a, what we call a, a probability distribution for two variables. The two variables here are cholesterol in a person's blood. You know that high uh, cholesterol levels in your, your blood can be bad. Well, in fact, sometimes it's good. There are different types of cholesterol and one's good, one's bad. And so you need to measure them together. And these are the relative uh, likelihoods of particular combinations occurring. And that helps uh, a doctor to make a diagnosis and monitor a patient's recovery from an illness. The rest of the morning is given over to a hands-on math session. The techniques required should be familiar, but the problems are presented in challenging, novel ways. Teamwork is encouraged. Do they have the same area then? Is that what it's saying? Yeah. So, so that's like a quarter, a quarter, a quarter. That is the same size as four fifths of that. Right, What did you get? A bit of a two two pass. It's really fun and interesting, challenging. It's somewhat different. We don't get to this in college every day. Yeah, because when you're in college, it's just question after question, yeah. so it's just something different, so I'm applying it. And the wording's totally different. 
Yeah, the word, word is a bit different, so it makes it, you've got to think more about it, you know, yeah. instead of just, we're doing this subject, so you have to use this equation, uh, you've got to think what sort of part of mass you're using. Yeah, well, this is sort of expanding on it and um, challenging our thoughts, and it's quite interesting. It's, it's really good working with the people and seeing how they think. Yeah, it helps you understand, it teaches you as well. You learn by uh, you learn from others instead of just learning from teachers. Providing a helping hand to some undergraduates on the Salford Maths course. For them too, it's a valuable experience. It's only two years since I was there in their position, so I can remember what I found difficult and what they're likely going to find difficult as well, and maybe explain it in a different way to somebody else. I think they're doing all right, yeah, they've got the right ideas, it's just sometimes get, getting them implemented. But they're a very bright bunch. <laughs> After a buffet lunch, it's time for a tour of the campus, again led by Salford undergraduates. The day is going well, but that's all down to careful advanced planning. In terms of setting the day up, it actually started two months ago. First of all, with the booking of the rooms, uh, then there's the refreshments to organise, and the personnel to run all the different events throughout the day, the keynote speakers, the helpers to help with the uh, sessions, and the student ambassadors to take them on the campus tours. I would encourage other universities to have Maths at Work days like this. The great events, and I think it's very important to contact um, students at schools who are perhaps 17 years old doing AS levels. At that stage they need to get motivation to study the subject and the more universities that get involved with Maths at Work days like this, the better. For a university like Salford, just simply know your local market, know uh, what kinds of schools they are, you know, what kinds of colleges they are. Try and get onto first name terms with, with decision people within those schools and colleges to make sure that they're aware that the day exists and it's going to be delivered properly. It's not just that they need to know it's going to happen, they need to have confidence that their youngsters are going to have a day out of lessons and it's going to be worth their while. After the tour, it's back to the big lecture theatre for a series of talks, this time by maths graduates working in industry. First up is Dr Nina Fishwick. I work for the Defence Science and Technology Laboratory, which is an agency of the Ministry of Defence. Um, and obviously I, I did mathematics as an undergraduate degree and then as a PhD. I work generally in this sort of area of air survivability um, and it, it does underpin a lot of the modelling techniques which is things like the computational fluid dynamics which looks at flows over aircraft bodies and, 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 and such like and then I use it in a lot of the testing and, and trials and, and sort of the very analytical nature that mathematics provides you with and that sort of logical thought process that is utilised every day. My name is Simon Shires and I'm a technical solution designer with IBM. I'm also a maths graduate I graduated in mathematics from Manchester University in 1981. I've been working ever since. I suppose I first got interested in maths when I was about 13. I was in uh, my local library. I picked up uh, a book on theoretical physics by uh, Wolfgang Pauli. And it was full of these most mysterious symbols. Uh, you know, the integration sign, delta and so on. I didn't know what it, I didn't know what it meant. I knew I wanted to know more about it though. Uh, I did maths for A-level and then went on to do a, a mathematics degree. Uh, and in the 30 years I've been working since then, I've done jobs where advanced maths has not been necessary, but the ability to think mathematically definitely has. I work for Sellafield OR Group, which is part of Sellafield Limited. My first degree after school was mathematics, statistics and operational research. Then I continued my academic career with a master's in operational research and then uh, got a job with uh, this group. I work for them uh, for the last 10 years now. Within Sellafield Limited, uh, we use mathematical techniques uh, to solve problems. Usually we will get uh, big problems that we need to solve, but using all the skills that I got through my university career, mathematical skills, techniques, logical thinking and applications and it has really give me huge returns in my career. I wouldn't change it for the world. 
The day is nearly over. There is just time to present prizes to the teams who did best in the hands-on workshop. Well done. But for everyone, it has been a worthwhile event. I think it's crucial that um, employers around the, around the country do get involved in, in supporting days such as the Maths at Work um, because it's very, very key to engage the next generation of scientists or mathematicians in this case um, in terms of making them aware of what paths they've got and what use this is because you don't tend to get that when you're actually studying the subject at, at that level. Um, so I think it's very, very key for us to be involved. I think the younger people, I think the kind of thing that they would get out of a day like today is that they will begin to see links between some of the basic and the fundamental mathematics they do and how that is then brought together in a real life application. Um, I think that's one of the skills of a mathematician is to bring a physical problem into the mathematical one and I think when they see that applied in a real life scenario, the fact that it underpins so much, it's nice for them to get a taster of that. It brings together prospective math students, university staff and representatives of employers. So straight away there are opportunities for networking that just weren't there before. That's, that's the primary benefit. I hope the uh, young people who come to these maths days benefit by getting the beginnings of an idea of what doing an undergraduate maths course might be like and seeing if it is for them. It's been great to see the interest of the young children coming from the schools and still not having decided on their career. And it, I, I feel so satisfied that I could offer some kind of ad advice and guidance to them. And I remember that at that age myself, I was a bit lost, but uh, now I can see the benefits of having a mathematics degree. For A-level students that uh, are still in doubt whether to study maths or not, I would strongly recommend to follow uh, a mathematical academic career to start with. That opens many horizons for the future, whether it's finance, the finance sector, engineering, uh, even medicine, uh, uh, medical statistics and so on. 60% of the professions in the industry use ma mathematics and mathematical techniques. That gives you a good understanding that maths is a basic skill to have in whatever career you pursue. At 16 and a half, 17 years of age, I mean, how much does a bright youngster know about how mathematics, you know, sort of winds its tentacles into all sorts of things uh, at, in the world of work, from, from Tesco's to the Minister of Defence to the financial houses and, and whatever. I mean, its tentacles go everywhere. And it isn't obvious to a 16 and a half, 17 year old how wide ranging and powerful the subject of mathematics is. And they saw firsthand today from three employers, all of whom are Manchester, UMIST or Salford uh, alumni, um, just exactly how they're using their maths degrees in very different kinds of work. I think we need to spread the word of mathematics as much as we can in today's environment and we've got to enthuse about it at every opportunity. And it's only by having events like this that the students are aware of what's out there, what work requires mathematics, and the employers of course by getting involved learn a bit as well I think about the opportunities that we can offer to them. The student feedback uh, that we ha have had for the day has been excellent. They've all really enjoyed the day, they've really enjoyed the keynote the, the, the initial speakers and the hands-on sessions, mass sessions, um, look, uh, having an experience of the university campus and what it's like to um, experience university uh, lectures and environment and also the ability to interact with uh, employers and see what mathematics um, employers uh, do in their jobs. And this is the first time it was done at the University of Salford, but it's been such a great success, we want to do it each year from now on. But perhaps we should leave the last word to the delegates themselves. I love